As we come to the bottom of the top half, we are now reaching number 9, and the level ranked at number 9 is Hoth Battle. And I know I've been ranking Empire Strikes Back's levels very low on this list, but that doesn't mean I hate them. And the Hoth level battle, I without question enjoy playing. I would definitely say it is much more enjoyable than Falcon Flight. Mostly because you can do a lot more in this level to progress to the end. And what makes this level unique from the other spaceship levels is the use of attaching bombs to your vehicle and rolling them to hard metal places in order to get to the next chamber. And there are so many areas you can access through free play, including a double score zone. You can even attach yourself to an AT-AT walker and make it fall over like in the movies. Same goes for the ATST walkers, making this level even more fun. And that is why it deserves a spot in the top half of this list. Reaching number 8, we have Through the Jundlin Wastes. Regardless of how long this level may feel, there is one reason I love this level so much. And that is the fact that this level is so open. You can go wherever you want. You can visit even more places through free, free play. And it's honestly a very smooth level because there's not too many bad guys. It doesn't go from 0 to 60 in 2 seconds, if you know what I mean. And if I was to point out the one thing I don't like about this level, it's when you play as one of the droids, C-3PO or R2-D2, the Jawas will zap you. And then you came a move, which very annoying. Other than that, you face multiple different obstacles, given that this level has so much variety. And lastly, it is so much fun to ride on speeders. At number seven, we have the very first level of the game, Secret Plans. Now, despite this level coming in at number seven, Secret Plans is probably one of the most organized and straightforward levels of the entire game. And while it can only do so much in the story, free play allows you to use the dark side, ride cars, plant flowers, and release stormtroopers into a zero gravity chamber. I mean, if that doesn't sound like fun, then I do not know what is. And, and I also liked the joke at the end with the bathing stormtroopers, which I never understood as a child, but as I got older, I found it way funnier. And if we were to compare this level to the negotiations level in LEGO Star Wars The Video Game, I would definitely say that Secret Plans is a much better level. At number six, we have Escape from Echo Base. Yeah, sadly, none of the Empire Strikes Back levels made it into the top five. I know, make fun of me all you want, but I will say that this one has got to be the best out of all of them. Echo Base is a very puzzle-based level that makes you think about how you can make it to the next segment. You have to get C-3PO on a vehicle with giant floor fans, and then rolling down a ramp to open another door, and then gaining access to the Millennium Falcon. That's why I choose this as my favorite level of Episode 5, and it definitely deserves a spot in the top half. Alrighty guys, starting off the top 5, we have Jedi Destiny. And out of all the boss fights in the entire game, Jedi Destiny has got to be my favorite. I mean, you get to play as Darth Vader and help save the galaxy, 
which makes it the only level where the dark side is accessible in story mode. Size-wise, this may be one of the smallest levels in the game, but it has plenty of substance for you to not be bored when playing. You even got one big secret room with two to three mini kits, and you get to fight the Emperor's Royal Guards, which are almost as hard as Grievous's guards. The Emperor himself is an epic fight. From the Force Lightning puzzle to the lightsaber duels, I couldn't have asked for any more in this level. And I do not think I, I would want to change anything about it. Alright, number four, we have Rebel Attack. And, uh, man do I love this level. From the epic music to the final moment where you blow up the Death Star, there was no way I was going to rank this any lower. Unlike Falcon Flight, where he acts as a TIE Fighter only room, the puzzles are very different from one another. From flying over motion sensors, to attaching a bomb to your ship and rolling it towards metal barricades like in Hoth Battle, this level kind of has a little bit of all the spaceship levels combined, which definitely makes it stand out from the rest of them. Oh, and the final moment where you're chased by TIE Fighters, that has got to be my favorite part of the level. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the top three. And starting off the top three, we have Into the Death Star. Now, this level does remind me a little bit of Rebel Attack, in the sense that it does involve the Death Star, only you're flying inside of it with the Millennium Falcon. However, I do enjoy this level just a tiny bit more, mostly because it has more challenging elements. Those involve dodging torpedoes, even more enemies, not being shocked by those Death Star shield machines, which are so annoying. Which, that being said, the layout of this level is very creative, very adventurous, and it's everything I want to see in a LEGO Star Wars video game. And my favorite part would probably be the final moment where you escape the Death Star as it's about to explode. <laughs> Alright guys, we are down to the top two best levels in the game, and at number two we have Speeder Showdown. Oh man, the fact that this level has a mix of flying and walking, there was no way I was going to rank this below the top two. Surprisingly, I managed to find one level that I find even better than this one, and I don't know how because there's nothing bad about Speeder Showdown. This level has literally almost everything you can do in the game. From flying on speeders, obviously, to riding on ATST walkers, to riding on an ATAT -AT walker, like, like, what? That's never been done in the game before, but I'm super glad they allowed you to do it. Every puzzle has its own way of being solved, and it's just nice to see a level put some different elements into the game and make it way more enjoyable. Well guys, you made it this far with me, time to reveal my number one pick. The one level that somehow, some way be out Speeder Showdown for the top spot. Coming in at the top spot, my favorite level of LEGO Star Wars 2 The Original Trilogy. Moss Esley Spaceport. This level is just jam-packed with fun action to keep you occupied, from fighting ATSD walkers to numerous ambushes that thankfully don't last super long. And at the same time, it gives you opportunities to take a break from the action and just explore the world of this level. You can even ride a speeder and take it to a speeder wash. 
which, and, and you can even hunt those small kangaroo-like creatures in two separate areas, start a fight anywhere you want with non-enemies, even watch a movie in a theater, which is also a double score zone. Oh, and the movie that they're showing just so happens to be footage from the first LEGO Star Wars game. The fact that you can do all those activities in this level is the exact reason why I put this as my number one favorite level of the game. And with the Skywalker Saga coming out soon, I cannot wait to see how these levels look in 2021. Well guys, that is it. Those are my rankings for all 18 levels of LEGO Star Wars 2 The Original Trilogy. And I know you guys will probably say, well, what about LEGO City? Don't worry, I'll leave a separate list that includes LEGO City at the end of the video. And until then, please subscribe, click like, feel free to comment, and I will see you next time.